continue up. Let's see how far I make it. Brings up the front real easy. Yeah, I think the download torque of this, there's a lot more of it to bring the front up versus on like the E-Ride Pro. Definitely more than the RAR Mantis. You want to be able to bring the front up when you're off road for a little obstacles and what have you. The throttle though is very precise, very smooth feeling. I like it. It's probably the best throttle out there. I used to say the Rar Mantis was, but this is a lot smoother, a lot more precise. That was fun. So you try different lines on these light bikes. Go off the bank. What would make these bikes even better if they start coming with like more dirt bike type tires, like the Tusk ground layers. Obstacle. Yeah. Man, it works really good. Still occasionally you'll have that braking rotor sound just due to it's still more a mountain bike than a dirt bike and honestly dirt bikes makes all sorts of noises you just have like an engine to cover it up up this we <laughs>
that precise throttle allowed me to feel the tire and just millimeter by millimeter kind of turn it and get that traction I needed. That was nice. Ground clearance issues. Hey, let's be truthful. This is harder train than most people are going to be riding these bikes on. And somebody's going to be like, but I do. Yeah, we're unique. <laughs> it's not common, as you can tell by the various Facebook sites for the various brands. You know, offense to the young folk out there, I mean, you're mainly riding on the road. Why? Because, you know, you need to get a ride typically to a place like this for most people. I'm loving the download torque on this thing. It is amazing. Just, whoa, go. <laughs> Just lightly twist that throttle. <laughs> that was uh, both foot pegs hitting on both sides. So that wouldn't happen on on the dirt bike. Or the Arctic Leopard. But you're gonna pay you pay for what you get, you know.
Then you got that new bike that goes 80 miles an hour, the Atlas or Atlas. It looks, it looks crazy. I mean, I don't understand why more and more power. I know people are gonna buy it. So we're hoping to carry that one. Been talking with the company, so. probably one of the few channels that actually ride these bikes on trails versus motocross track. I mean, I have no interest in track riding. I had a chick come in and she's like, I want a bike that can jump. What's your best bike that can jump? And she was pointing to the electrics. I was like, none of them. That's not really what they're made for. Yeah, that's what people can do with them and stuff. And can soup them up, but that's really not what they're made for. They're not, these are not motocross track bikes. The Stark Varg is a motocross track bike. Because then she asked if I had one of those. I was like, no, those are $15,000. Like, the rental on that, something like that, would be like three or four hundred bucks a day. And it's like, nah, you know, don't feel like doing that. I have a feeling people will crash it and then the problem is getting parts. That's why we don't rent everything out because parts. We got to be able to fix it. Otherwise, it's pointless. Yeah, you get 100 bucks. Well, after they take their fee, let's say you get 80 bucks after the third party takes their fee out of it. So you get $80. Well, and parks are getting take months to get. What's the point? I can make videos in the meantime. So, I, you know, I don't think the rental's that good unless the person's interested in actually buying one. That's what it works for. So you all come on into you know, Moto Toys, you know, you try one out or you rent one and then, you know, you might buy it. That That's where the reward is. <laughs> so let's see, I got just past my point there. 77%. We're going to be on pipeline here in a second. 